Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are building the tinfoil wagon. What is the tinfoil wagon you ask? Well, it's that thing over there. It's a crazy man's RV and it was my starter base on random craft. It's jam packed with all of the workstations that you need, lots of storage, very useful. It's had some upgrades since uh, Captain Jack first built it. It's even had some downgrades. Here is the material list you guys are going to need. Now I will say that the sea lanterns are a little bit of an early game luxury for most people. So if you want to substitute that out for glowstone, go right ahead. And there will be a list down in the description as well. Okay, so without too much faffing about, first thing we're going to do is come to the front here and put a coal block and another coal block with a three block gap. Then we're gonna count out 10 to the side. And on the 11th block, we're gonna put another two with a gap in between and three block gap and place those there. Then some buttons on the wheels, just like this and this side as well. Right, then we're going to put in some hoppers in behind the wheels, just like that. And some fence gates behind these wheels, as well as the very back wheels. Then we'll put in some trap doors there. Then coming all the way to the front, we're gonna start putting in our copper. Now, do bear in mind, that if you don't want this copper to oxidize any more than uh, it already has, make sure to wax it. Um, I have not put that in the material list, but uh, yeah, they are all waxed in this case. So we'll just put all of those in there. Right, and then three more trapdoors at the back. We'll put another one here with a block between the uh, fence gates just like that, then a two block gap and another one. And then right next to this one, we'll put a stair there and a stair behind. Then if you come out two blocks and one over, you'll put the first fence post or first wall over there. And then one, two, three, four, five in between. And on the sixth block, you'll put another one there. And that's the first layer done. Right, so next up, we're going to put in some a lightning rods on top of those walls and then let's start at the front we're going to start with some observers facing inward like that we'll put a grindstone on that one and a lever on that one and then a trap door and another trap door there and then we'll put a blast furnace in between and then we're going to put in some deep slate just like this with a smithing table right there. We'll fill in this whole area with some more deep slate. Gonna be a barrel right here. So this is directly from the stairs. There's a little step there. You can also put in the warped trap, uh, warped pressure plate already if you want. And then up from that, you'll put the barrel over there and then we'll move on for more slabs here and then a cauldron there which we should probably fill up with water before i forget right and then we can move on to some more um deep slate another cauldron over there then we're gonna have one two three and one two three observers like that more deep slate more deep slate deep slate we could put some more cauldrons Actually, these are hoppers. Put the hoppers there. And then a sea lantern right there. Right? Then the next thing is this gap here is going to get an ender chest. And then that is this interior done. So now we can come over to the back here and we'll put in a smoker, another smoker, and turn this one so you don't see the front facing there. We could put a ladder on the back there and a lever right there. Then over top of these wheels, we're gonna put in an anvil. And you can see how this is turning into a build that has pretty much everything that you're gonna need, right? So another trap door next to the anvil like that and one there. And then we're gonna come to the front and we're gonna start with smooth sandstone stair like that and another one there. And then 
a regular sandstone like that and then cut sandstone cut sandstone smooth sandstone regular sandstone cut sandstone and you can just repeat this in whatever um, pattern you would like but essentially yeah just follow along with this and you'll see it's between smooth sandstone regular sandstone uh, just a little bit of block variation to make sure that the textures are all mixed and matched together right and then finish up this side over here with a little bit more of this we can put in the iron door so long right there uh, cut sandstone with a button here for the door and then a few more stairs and that is that we'll come back for the signs that we need for headlights and things like that we'll do that at the end um, one last thing, right across from the door on this side, you could put in a tripwire hook and another button just for a little bit of detail. And that is the second layer complete. All right, so starting at the front again, we're just going to keep variating our sandstone a little bit here like this. And we'll put in some stairs facing out like that and like that. And then this stair here is deep slate polished deep slate cobbled deep slate polished deep slate so we're going to be doing the same kind of variation with our deep slate as well then another two smooth sandstone stairs like that and then we could put in some dark oak for the driver's seat and the passenger seat we can also put in our lever so long and a brewing stand right then across from the brewing stand on the outside, you can also put in two levers, right? As well as two buttons on the sides of those, right? Then behind that, now we're going to start putting in some of the birch as well. So we'll do birch planks, planks, wood, wood, plank, 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 wood, plank, 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 wood, plank. So again, we're just variating the textures a little bit. Put some deep slate in between there and then some more birch around this side all the way along like that we will be putting in some dark oak signs along this edge as well but we'll do that at the end then we're going to put in a crafting table behind the passenger seat and a composter behind the driver's seat and then two more seats here with an upside down lightning rod that's going to be our table stand we can put in an upside down or a slab pardon me a slab there and we can put in a slab there and then we'll put in one of our diorite stairs here and fill that with water and that is going to be our little kitchen sink right then a furnace for an oven um we could put in our uh, dark oak door so long, right? And we can also put in some of our dark oak trap doors here that is going to make the partition between the living quarters and the bathroom. And then we're going to put in a diorite stair like that. And we're going to put in another diorite stair like that. And we're going to fill that up with water as well. That's going to be our uh, bathroom sink. And this is going to be our toilet. And then over here, We'll put in a acacia trap door and just a carpet to cover up that one observer. That's going to be the base for our shower. And that's just going to be a little shower mat, I guess, for when you're drying off, right? Then we're going to put in another partition here with the dark oak slab uh, trap doors. And we're also going to put in a dark oak door there. I'm putting them in open at the moment because I will, when we start building on the inside, I want to still be able to move through this without having to open doors the whole time. Anyway, carpets around there. And then on top of the uh, ender chest, you're going to be putting in your bed with two little side tables uh, on either side like that and some um, reading material for yourself like so. And then a loom there. So that's another workstation out of the way then behind here above the lever you're going to put in one um iron bar and another ladder 
and just a little swing by and i believe that is another layer complete actually no there is still the matter of end rods on top of these lightning rods and now this layer is complete then starting from the front yet again we're going to start putting in some glass panes we'll put one over the lever as well as like a side mirror and then we'll just put this all the way around to level with the the seats and then we'll do some birch over there and this side is getting a uh, iron bar while this side is going to get a lever while we're in the front here we can also put in our uh, lightning rods over top of the end rods and then we can cover up the door with a um, stairs and another birch and then put in three windows like that on this side we're going to be putting in five pieces of window like so we're gonna have build up the partition one more higher and we're going to put the carpet on top of our lightning rod for our little table we'll also put a carpet over that to cover it up because otherwise it looks a little funny then moving into the bathroom we're going to just fill out the walls again and we're going to put a tripwire hook there for our little sink tap as well as a birch trap door for the toilet seat and a black banner for the uh the towel now i've used one with a little bit of a design just to be funky with it but uh you can use whatever you want it's just a towel right then you can have iron bars over that side and another lever on that side right then we're going to build up the partition for the bedroom a little bit more and we're going to put in two barrels on this side two barrels on that side and three barrels over the top there pull in those walls over there and put in two uh glass panes for the windows for the bedroom and that is the bedroom done for now and then we're going to come over to the back corner here and we're going to put in a cartography table with a ladder on this side and that's just a little it it, it kind of looks like there's a little piece of baggage strapped to the side of the rv um but it's just so that you guys have access to a cartography table right and then some more deep slates a ladder birch and then two pole blocks here with buttons on them as like two spare tires for this uh, rv then some more planks and iron bars and then we're going to bring out some iron bars here in the shape of an antenna right just like that on the outside of the barrels, we're going to be putting in some ladders. That'll be for both sides to just give it some extra strappiness, texture, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that, I believe, is another layer complete. Right, so starting from the front again, we are going to be putting in some stairs over the front like that. Then we're going to be putting in some backwards facing stairs there and then frontwards facing again and that's just going to create a little bit of a, a, a gap here it's going to be like an open top window sort of thing right we're going to put in two trap doors over the middle of the cockpit here and then we're going to put in three barrels like that and behind these barrels we're going to be putting in um just some black banners right i don't know how i managed to copy banners with eyes on them but you know what whatever again use designs if you want or uh, just keep them black it's entirely up to you uh then we are going to be putting in some more of our wall there and then we're going to do a few slabs here right and then another wall there and that is just going to look like a rolled down window which is really nice right and then we'll do the same sort of thing on this side um, with one there, one there, and then like that. Okay. Then we're going to put in a little um, a trap door there as a hob. And I just remembered there was, there was actually meant to be a detector rail over here. Actually, we should probably put that detector rail like that, right? So you got a detector rail there. That's kind of your hob so just like that and then 
We can put some iron bars over the top of these levers. That's going to help to keep up our awning. Also, on top of the lightning rods, we're going to be putting in some dark oak fences, right? And then we'll get around to finishing up the awning in a second because we're going to be needing to do the grass, uh, the grass floating carpet button trick. If you guys have seen my previous video, and if you haven't, I can suggest that you go and actually watch that right now, after this one at least. Then moving on around, we're going to finish up the walls just like this and this time we're using full blocks over the windows those ones are not rolled down and then we'll finish up the wall around the side here remember to put in another ladder over there that one's going to be going all the way to the roof and some bars here as like little safety rails for when you climb up the ladder right then we're going to carry on with our wall yet again and we're going to put a few more strappy bits here and on this side just above where the barrels are right then we'll finish up the partition for the bedroom and we'll put in a few more barrels over here and then we'll start the roof by putting in some slabs and a few more slabs there and slabs like that right that is pretty much the bedroom done to be honest and for the bathroom we'll just do the same quickly we'll finish up the partition and then we'll put a tripwire hook there. That is going to be your uh, <clears throat> shower head. And then there is going to be a lantern over here, but we'll do that in a second when we actually have a roof to hang it up from. And I think that that is another layer completed. Right now, as I was saying about the awning, we're going to be needing to do the grass block trick, right? So. What we're going to do is we're going to come here to between the two levers and we're going to fill out this whole space with some grass like that and you're going to even put one in between the levers and the uh the pole here right then you're gonna bone meal all of this grass until you have short grass on all of them right i'm just putting down some grass manually because it's a lot quicker right you're gonna put some carpet on top of these guys it's gonna give you the base to start with then making sure that you're actually aiming against the carpet itself um or against the block uh over like the rest of the carpets here you're just gonna make sure that you're not putting it directly on top of the grass otherwise it will replace the grass but like this it's going to float over top of the grass which is exactly what we want so let me just fill in all of these gaps just like that and then we're going to take our buttons we're going to aim up towards the carpet itself not the not the grass but the carpet and we're going to place in our buttons like that and then we can take away the first row and then we're going to just repeat this until we have done all of them and we have a nice floating awning that just looks like it's got some things hanging off the bottom of it instead of it being just all string and we don't want that right so at least this way it kind of looks a little bit more natural right so moving on from that then we can now start from the front again and we can start putting in our stairs just like this and then we'll go around to right above where this window ends and we'll make sure that we put our last stair facing in that direction, right? And then we'll do the same on this side, equal to that. And then we're gonna put in a glowstone above that trap door. And we're gonna fill that in with some deep slate. And then here, we're going to be putting in our two stone cutters, which will be accessible from the bottom. So just don't forget that they're in the roof. <laughs> That's it, but then you'll have it, right? And then some more of the uh, the wood there. And we'll finish up with some deep slate around this side. And two pieces of deep slate. And then we'll put in uh, a hopper above that trap door as part of the extractor. And another deep slate there. We'll finish off this area with a little bit of slab edge like that. And then some stairs coming down. And some more slabs, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to put in a couple of barrels just like that. And we are going to be putting in 
some carpet over those barrels and a trapdoor there just to disguise everything a little bit nicer. Then two iron bars there, two iron bars there, and then this side, which is gonna bring the iron bars around, just like that, over top of that, and the same goes for here. This one's gonna be a wall that's gonna be part of our antenna with another two iron bars. We'll bring out an iron bar there, and that just reminded me that we missed the redstone torch there which is going to power that trap door so it looks like a little satellite dish right and on the topic of things that i have forgotten we are going to need to take those out and just temporarily bring out one of these blocks and the same on this side because we are going to need to strap in our barrels with some uh rails right so we're going to bring some rails over the top of this all the way down like that and then here we're just going to bring them down like that and the reason we needed to break out those blocks was so that these rails don't connect right so we can now break out these blocks again and just put in your ladders so now it looks like this cargo up here is completely strapped down all the way to down here Right, and that is another layer complete. All right, so we're nearly there. And at this point, we're gonna start on our big antenna that is at the front. Now, this one is completely optional. Um, it is just meant to be for the kooky, uh, crazy conspiracy nut guy that lives up on a hill uh, and wants as much antennae as possible to uh, monitor frequencies and find aliens and whatnot right then we are going to put in some trap doors right there like that and we are also going to open that and actually get ourselves a soul campfire just in there right now what we're going to need to do is also put a block over top of that we're going to take um a a rail <laughs> pardon me not remembering words and then we're going to take a hopper minecart and we're going to put that over the top and then we're going to break out this block and that's going to drop in right on top of the fire and that makes for a really nice looking chimney no huh? okay then our last step for this layer, which is a very short layer, is going to be to just put in an iron bar over there. And that is this layer complete. Now, if we go up to the next one, right, we are just going to be putting in a end rod there. And then this antenna area thing here is complete. And then we're just going to work our way up this one, right? So wall with some iron bars coming out the front of it like that. And then the next layer up is going to be a redstone torch, another wall, a couple of bars coming off of it like this. Next one up is wall and another wall there with an iron bar, iron bar, and then another one of these upward facing trapdoors that looks like a satellite dish, All right? Next layer up is going to be a wall and then a fence so that that doesn't connect and then an iron bar, a little trap door over the top of this one to look like maybe a radar dish instead of a satellite dish, um, an iron rod and a fence gate or fence post, and then a end rod, uh, iron bar and a redstone torch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire tinfoil wagon complete. Now, we just have a few things left to do here in terms of signage to finish off this um, vehicle. And that is to put some headlights like this with the birch and the white dye glow signs um, out at the front. And then we are going to be putting in a Winnebago sign, actually, sorry, Winnebago sign here, right? Because that is what this brand of um, vehicle is. And you can do, you can play around with this. You can do this any way you want. Put some light strips on it. You don't need to make the W. But this is just uh, equal signs that are coming down at an angle at the back here. And then a little 
upside down V thing and then up again. So three separate signs making a full W, right? Um, we're also going to be putting in some tail lights at the back here. And then if I can remember this correctly, we are going to be putting in that there, that there, and that there. And then we could put in some more of these light strips again, all the way around. And that is that. The final thing that we need to do is actually come into the Winnebago and then put ourselves a little lamp right here. And that is that. So you have all of the things that you need from a smithing table, composter, crafting table, furnace, uh, loom over there. There's everything that you need for a starter base in this Winnebago. And uh, yeah, that's that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments about this. Uh, did I miss anything? Was there anything that you would like to see in a starter base that I didn't include in this thing? And uh, like if you actually like the, the, the design of the Winnebago. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day and see ya. Man, I really like these upgrades. I wish the one on Random Graft actually had all of these.